What's hanging behind me? That's right, it's a dragon. A dragon. You know in China, the dragon is revered by everyone because it's kind-hearted and it brings good luck. And if you look closely at the dragon, you'll see that it shares characteristics with many different animals in China. So for instance, let's just look at the head. Do you see the long whiskers? What animals have long whiskers? And then it has a mane. What animals have manes? Pointy ears, a long snout, sharp teeth, horns. As you can tell, there are many animals just in the head. Now, the other thing about the dragon is that he is one of the animals on the Chinese calendar. You know there are 12 animals on the calendar, and you would think the dragon would come first, but he does not. Who does come first on the calendar? Well, that's an interesting story. Long ago, the emperor of China had a problem. Unlike our calendar, which is 12 months long, the Chinese calendar is 12 years long. And the people had such a hard time remembering which year they were in. So the emperor thought, hmm, perhaps I should name each year after an animal. Maybe that would make it easier to remember where we are. But mm, we have so many animals in China. Which animals should I choose? And what order should they be in? The solution, a race a race across the great yellow river. So on the day of the race, the emperor and his throne were carried down to the riverbank. And across the river, he could see all these animals crowded around getting ready for the race. He could see, oh yes, a horse and an ox, and oh yes, even the dragon is here. But had the emperor been on the other side of the river, he would have seen a lot of smaller animals. And in fact, he would have seen two best friends, a rat and a cat. Rat. Um, I'm a little worried. How are we going to compete against all these animals? They're so much bigger than we are. Rat said, oh, uh, yeah, but you know what? The rat is known for being clever and shrewd. I've got an idea. Cat, when the race starts, just do as I do. Do as you, what do you mean, do as you do? There's no time to explain. Look, it's going to start any second. Just do as I do. And at that moment, the emperor raised his fan, indicating that the race was going to start. And in a second, he dropped the fan. The race has begun. All the animals start running towards the river. As they go past them, the ox lumbers past, and the rat says, okay, follow me. And the rat nimbly jumps onto the ox's back just as the ox enters the river. And after following that, the cat goes on. And the ox is so focused on his swimming that he doesn't realize he has two hitchhikers on his back. Well, what do you know? ox is starting to pull away from all the other animals. He's getting farther and farther into the lead. And there on his back, the rat and the cat are smiling to themselves, looking back and seeing all the animals far behind them. As the ox gets halfway across the river, the rat starts thinking, okay, when the ox hits the other side of the river, I'm going to jump off, run to the emperor's throne, and I'll be declared number one. But then he looks at his best friend and he thinks, oh, actually, Cat can run a lot faster than I. He'll probably beat me and he'll be number one. Well, oh, that's okay. He's my best friend. That's all right. But this was my idea. I, I thought of this. He wouldn't even be here if it weren't for me. Hmm. So back and forth in the rat's mind, he's trying to decide what to do. And finally, he did decide. Cat, look down there. And he points down the river. Look, look, look. And the cat starts to look and look 
look, I don't see anything. What are you, look down the river. And he leans and looks and leans and looks. I still don't see anything. And the rat says, here it is. And he pushes his best friend into the river and the river carries him down stream. Well, it's not long before the ox reaches the other side. The rat jumps off the ox, runs to the emperor's throne, and the emperor proclaims him number one, followed by the ox, which is number two. Following them is the tiger, who actually grew up in the jungle and swam rivers every day. Then a rabbit hops on, as dry as can be. The emperor asks, how did you do this? The rabbit says, oh, when the race started, I just hopped from rock to rock to rock across the river. At that moment, from out of the sky lands the dragon. Dragon, it's good to see you. But I'm a little surprised. You are the biggest animal in China, and you can fly. Uh, I'm a little surprised you're not number one. Well, the dragon said, well, I was up in the air flying over, and I saw my good friend the rabbit hopping from rock to rock. And I just wanted to make sure he would be safe, so I held back until I made sure he came that moment, a horse and a snake arrived, and the snake was wrapped around the horse's foreleg. Just as the horse approaches the emperor's throne, the snake sticks out his head and becomes number six, and the horse is seven. At that moment, thump, a raft arrives, and off the raft come three friends, a ram, a monkey, and a rooster. The rooster, with his keen eye, had spotted this raft mired in with weeds. And the monkey, with his nimble fingers, pulled the weeds away. And the ram, with his strong legs, pulled the raft into the river. So the three friends simply rode across. Now, there are only two spots left. When all of a sudden, everybody gets drenched with huge drops of water. Ay, ya! Yeah. Is it raining? No, the sky is clear. They look and they look and they see the dog. Because you know what happens when a dog gets wet. They shake and shake and shake until they're dry. Now there's only one spot left. Who will get it? And up floats the pig, who simply floated across the river. As the emperor is congratulating his 12 fine winners, they all hear this And they look down the river, and from out of the water comes this soggy, muddy paw. It clamps onto the riverbed and starts pulling itself up, followed by the other paw. And it's the he pulls and pulls and pulls himself towards the emperor and says, did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? The emperor looks down at the cat. Oh, cat, I'm so sorry to tell you, you missed it by one. But, but cat, don't feel bad because your best friend the rat came in first. When the cat heard that, he was so mad that to this very day, the rat has been the sworn enemy of the cat. And that's the story of why the rat comes first.